Uh, this video is showing the bearing here. This is the old jack shaft. Well, we'll show the new one. The new one goes up and down with little to no resistance. And this is the uh, the previous one. It's a little bit more snug. So, trying to determine whether that's supposed to be pressed on there a little bit better or. Uh, this one is eight tenths bigger than yep. the new one. Eight tenths bigger. This one on this is, one here. The the old one is eight tenths bigger than this one. Okay. Yeah, so we need to we need to understand if uh, this should be knurled out a little bit. So this press is on there nice and snug, or if we should just use Loctite uh, or something of that nature. So we're trying to figure out what the whole point of that is. So to show you again about how that just absolutely no resistance there on this one. Little resistance, uh, a little more resistance on on this one. This has been tested. And this is true. So there should be no problems with that jack shaft here. And then lastly on the uh, sprocket here, he has pressed in uh, at two thousandths, you said? Two thousandths press fit. Two thousandths press fit, uh, press fit. sleeve here. And uh, this hasn't been uh, honed out yet. Or is it lathed or honed? Yeah, I'll bore it, it out. And, yeah, I'll this bore will, it out this so will bore out. three tenths interference fit. I'll shrink it in. Okay, so then we're going to get a bearing in there. And then on this side, he needs to, this is also wore a little bit there. So we're wanting to uh, put a sleeve in here. But if you can see how thin this already is now, we're going to put an outer sleeve on there um, to um, reinforce this outer area here. And then he'll sleeve it. We'll shrink this on so that it's Shrink it, it on there. Shrink that. That makes sense. So. That's what we got.